I want to show you how to build or create a membrane to form finding for a membrane using Pamela plugin I developed. This is the parametric membrane load analysis plugin written in C sharp. To get started, we need a mesh. We have an edge mesh component. As the name says, it takes an edge, a curve, which can be curve, set of curves, and creates a mesh based on that. We can have a coarser or a finer mesh. To get started, don't make it too fine. It's easier, it's faster in computation. You always can refine the mesh later, that's no problem at all. We have the initial mesh. We need a membrane element, which takes the mesh as an input and adds additional information to it. Now we have the membrane. We want to fix the corners to make sure they stay in place. Let's, we use the supports the corner points from the mesh going to the support positions. They both turn gray, that means they are good, no errors. And we take the force density solver. Force density solver takes a model as an input, but we have 2D elements and supports, so we have to create that model first. It's the model builder that assembles all information into a model which is understands, which is um, can be processed by the solver, one of the solvers. So model build and make sure there are no duplicate points and stuff like that. The solver is orange because it's paused. You can turn it on. It's a good thing to pause the the solver if, um, if you're changing the mesh, otherwise it will recompute all the time. To see the result, so we take the model and we're visualizing now just displacements from original positions to current positions for each vertex of the mesh. We have our first membrane. Initial mesh is still shown. We can turn that off and the new membrane. Looks kind of ugly because we don't have any edge cables. We don't have additional pretension or tension in the cable or in the edges. Now if we want to add, add edge cables, we have to add one D element, which take as input curves. And we can specify pretension. There's also an easier way to do that. So in the design, we have the 1D mesh edges. Mesh edges component takes a mesh as an input, takes corner points, identifies all the, the edges, and creates output curves. Then uses one of the elements. Let's add it to the model and we see they're taking a pretension input here. Or we can change the pretension in the cable. Now we have all the cables with the same pretension. If we want to change that, we just have to introduce another set which can individually be configured then also with material in cross section of the cable. Now, let's use different cables or let's make sets, two sets of cable. One for the first two. And one for the other two cables here. We're leaving out one. Add this, and we have two sets of cables with individual pretension. Now let's, we have this last edge, 
There's no cable specified yet. I want to have some, I want to fix it to that line. To fix the whole edge to a line, we have to place supports along the line where for each individual node of the mesh vertices. To do this, we take another support component. So we add that to, to the model. And now we have that line which contains, which is actually a linear line and polyline. We takes all the positions of the mesh along that line and creates supports. So we have six additional supports here which are all fixed. This is the support for the kether or clamping, whatever. Now well, we have our first membrane. Um, let's say we want to add a bridge cable here. Actually, one thing I see here is that arrow pointing down. That arrow pointing down is because of that tells us that the mesh faces, mesh faces are facing down, but they should be facing upwards. So, flip it on the mesh, and we see okay, they're all up. It's just the way you look on it. The top side. It's when we go into patterning and so on. It will be more, more important there. We'll make sure from the beginning that it's correct. Good. So we want to introduce a, an additional cable here to lift that part up a bit or to stabilize it additionally. That means <coughs> we, we will introduce it there. Let's stop that solver. We don't see the result anymore. Remove that whole section because if we want to introduce a cable going from let's flip this here from here to there, we want to refine the mesh along that line to make sure the cable meets the edges or some edges of the, of the mesh, internal edges. Rich Valley cable as an input it takes the mesh it takes some corner points and it takes a while because it's computing oops it's it down it's red it's going from zero to zero so that won't work Let's go from 0 to 2, it's turning grey. You can see it a little bit here, we have a line going through, which shows us the, 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 the path of the cable, it's actually a path through the mesh. Yeah, that's a, point, a good point, the, the, the mesh or the cable follows a path through the mesh. But at this point here, we're introducing new vertices as well. If existing vertices are too far away from our target path, then we're introducing new ones. This is what we can adjust with that pull tolerance here. If we make it very big, then it goes like that. And if we go finer, then new Vertices are introduced on the way, this brightens the line. Doing this should also take care that those triangles are not getting too small. Just make sure we get a nice line. It may have some kinks that doesn't really matter because when you pull on the cable later, it will straighten. 
but then yeah so it looks fairly good original mesh had 196 faces the new one has 248 so we have to make sure we are using that new mesh for everything for all the we see the new mesh here let's say with the old one we are using that finer mesh for all the comp or all the inputs of the subsequent components Corners haven't changed, so it's still the same corner points, but you have a different mesh here. Good. So we're using the, the output mesh of the rich value cable component, which creates the cable pretension, which are additional 1D elements. We add those also to the model here. Good. Does it work? Turn it on. See that the red line, the original pass, mesh pass, where the cable has been placed or defined. Now with some tension, tension on the cable, we have Another option to change this, the shape of that membrane to stabilize it along that that ridge there can be helpful with snow loads carrying snow loads. That's it. Thank you for watching.